All right, so in this video, we're gonna go over using the dispatch board. So in the previous video, we learned how to schedule the first job, and the one before that, we learned how to set up a client. So here's the client that we set up, and we've also set up the job. So let's say at this point now, we're ready to do that work, to do the job, and so we're gonna do that on the dispatch board. To get to the dispatch board, you're gonna to wanna to come to scheduling, and then dispatch board, so we're gonna click on that, now I'd recommend really using this on a daily basis because this is gonna be the place where you can check and verify your work, see the progress and print route sheets and verify the information on the jobs. So this is gonna be a very useful place to be and a useful thing to use. So the first thing I wanna point out here is that the dispatch board always appears based on a date range. So your jobs will show up based on what range you have selected here in this field. And in this case, I've got one day selected, and this is the job that I'm doing on that day. You may have multiple. In this case, I just have one. So I can click on this field here, and I can adjust the calendar. I can adjust what date range I'm pulling up. So I could select a larger date range, a smaller date range, whatever I want to do. And I click Refresh to show it. I could also click the options down here to show different time frames. But let's say I just want to click on this date. I just want to show one date. So now I've got this job. But at this point, I wouldn't be able to see the job on the mobile, and I wouldn't be able to print the route sheets. And the reason is that this job is still pending scheduled, so it's not dispatched. And you know that because of the icon here. So this has a calendar icon. That indicates that it's pending scheduled. And notice when I hover over it, it says scheduled. So in order to print the route sheets or see the jobs on the mobile, I need to dispatch the work. So I'm gonna click on the box next to the job, go to actions, and then dispatch. If I wanted to use the hotkeys, use my keyboard to do so, I could do that here. Notice it gives you the shortcuts here. But let's say I just wanna go ahead and click that, dispatch, and notice that icon changed. And now you've got that phone icon, which means that they can see this on the mobile, and you can also print the route sheet. So I'm not gonna show you the mobile here in this video, but I will show you how to go and print the route sheets. So let's go up here to print. And now I can print my route sheet. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is select my resource that I wanna print for. So I'm gonna select A team here, and I'm gonna select my date range, in this case, just one day. Select my format. In this case, I just want the regular route sheet format and I'm gonna click update. And then there is my route sheet. So notice in this format, it will show me my resources here for this crew. I've got two of them. This would allow them to put in their start and end times for the day and write in their truck number mileage and it shows how many jobs they have. They may have multiple for a given day they can also write down their start time, their end time, and it shows them the actual hours that it should take them on the job. And notice also it includes the job notes that we set up in the previous video for this job. Now I would encourage you to check out our route sheet and work order formats here if you're wanting to use those just because we have a lot of different ones that will show you different information. So it's good to check those out here. Also, you could print these out if I'm in the office and I just need a print, or I can email these. Like, let's say I want to email them to my crew leader directly. I can go ahead and do that here, and this will include the route sheet and work orders in an attached PDF file. I would just click send. And so let's say I'm good. I've printed those out. So I'm going to go back to the dispatch board here and I'm on the dispatch board. Now let's say at this point they see them on the mobile so they complete them. If they completed this job on the mobile, this icon would actually automatically change. That's the nice thing about using the mobile is the icon automatically changes to complete once they complete the work. But if in this scenario, say we're using paper and we're gonna have to do that manually. So what I'm gonna do is at the end of the day or the beginning of the next day after this jobs are completed, I'm gonna go ahead and click on the box next to the job, go to actions, 
and complete. And notice how that icon now changes. Now this is the invoiced icon because it was daily invoicing. The invoice icon shows up here. If it was on a different invoice frequency, this might just have the check mark indicating that it invoice isn't complete yet, but it has been generated. So completing the work, it starts the invoicing process whenever you complete the job. So the other piece here, the other thing you'll want to make sure you do is view your closeout day at the end of the day. So the job is completed. I'm going to go up here and click on my closeout day view. And this is going to show me a couple of things. One, it's going to show me the start and end times. So if I was using the, the route sheets, the crews, maybe they bring them back and they sh give me their times. If you want to track time, you'll need to go in here and enter their start and end time for every single job. And then you can go ahead and click Save. And that way you have that information to be able to job cost it later. So just verify here that everything looks correct. And the closeout day essentially is the same thing as the dispatch board view. It just has a couple other columns, which allows you to double check your work or your crew's work, sort of like quality assurance. With this, with using the closeout day, it's not quite as crucial if you're using the mobile app because your guys will complete the jobs. It will log the time automatically whenever they clock in and out of the jobs here, and it will automatically change this icon. So you can use the mobile app actually on any Apple or Android device. If your guys are set up as a mobile user in their company settings, they can use it, or you as the owner can log into the mobile as well and view the jobs. But again, to see the jobs on the mobile, I will note that the jobs will need to be assigned to whichever mobile user or assigned to the crew that the mo mobile user is inside of. And one final thing I want to show you here is the legend over to the right. If you click on this, it will show you what various icons mean on the dispatch board. So you may have a lot of jobs with different icons. This legend will give you more information about what those mean. Also, sometimes jobs are colored differently, and this will show you why that is. So the legend's just a really useful tool for using the dispatch board. Now at this point, we have that invoice created, so we can go ahead and send the invoice off to the client. I'm not going to do that here, and we'll cover that in the next video, but this video was learning the dispatch board and using the dispatch board, so I will see you at the next video.